Hello, everybody. Andrea Trowski here with Dental Health um, Tutoring. Uh, please excuse the mess. We just um, moved last week and we're still unpacking. So those boxes are the next things for me to move because I can see they are right in the angle of the camera. So what I would like to talk to you guys about today is actually a question that um, somebody else had for me. Um, a few people have been asking me lately what toothpaste I um, use. So, and so I will show you um, in case you want to know, but I will also tell you why I use them. Now, keep in mind that everybody's different. I have, um, you know, fairly healthy teeth. So I could technically use any toothpaste I wanted to because I don't need, you know, a certain um, toothpaste, say for, for um, cold sensitive teeth. I don't need a certain toothpaste because I have gum, um, disease or you know like I don't need things like that so depending on your um, personal needs you might need a certain toothpaste for that um, if you're not sure something like a you know um, overall care so like a Crest Pro Health a Colgate um, I think it's called total care, you know, look for a toothpaste that says like overall care or total care or something like that, because that looks at everything and it's usually a pretty good toothpaste. But the ones that I like are the pro enamel. And let me also say that I'm not being paid by Pro Enamel to show you guys this. I'm not being paid by any company to, sh to show you this. This is just my personal toothpaste is Pro Enamel. And I'll tell you why, because I have thin enamel. You guys probably can't tell, but my teeth are fairly translucent, okay? Let's see. No, you guys can't tell, but they're fairly translucent. So when my teeth were developing, they just didn't fully develop properly. I have thin enamel, which means um, it's very easy for me to get cavities. Every time I get a checkup by the dentist, which is every six months, um, I have incipients in there. And if you're a normal person watching this and not a dental professional, um, it Incipients means that I have tiny um, cavities inside the mouth that aren't through the enamel yet, so it's not something that we need to fix. So incipients are so tiny that yes, they are there, and if they become larger, then they do become large cavities that have to be fixed. But they could stay the same and never cause a problem, or if I uh, um, brush and floss thoroughly, um, then the incipients could become less or go away. So those of us who have thin enamel, this is a normal thing to happen, okay? So this helps to make my enamel stronger, okay? Um, because what Pro Enamel does is it, um, it applies a thin layer over the um, teeth. Not something that you can tell, it's pretty much microscopic, but it's a thin layer to help to protect the enamel. So every time I eat something, um, drink something, my enamel is protected. Um, whereas if I did not use Pro Enamel, um, anytime I would eat or drink something, it would sink into my enamel. And since I have thin enamel, that could cause a cavity depending on what I'm eating or drinking. So if I'm eating things that have high um, acid in them, like um, lemon water, pop, you know, things like that, orange juice, then that could sink into my enamel and cause a cavity. But with pro enamel, this is protecting my enamel. So it sinks into the pro enamel, if that makes sense. And it just helps me not develop a cavity. So does that make sense? So this isn't for everybody. This is for those people who have thin enamel or for those people who drink or eat a lot, um, a lot of things that are acidic. So if you have lemon water every day, you need pro enamel because lemons are acidic. And um, a little tip with that is with the lemon water, drink through a straw so you're not touching all of your teeth all the time because if you haven't seen my video that I did last week or two weeks ago about um, acid attacks every time you are eating or drinking something with acid that acid attack lasts 20 minutes in the mouth so what that means is that acids eating away at your enamel for 20 minutes 
So if you're sipping through lemon water throughout the day, each sip is 20 minutes of that acid attack. So, whew. so that's how people get cavities and that's how people get sore, sensitive teeth because it's just eating away at the enamel. The enamel does not have nerves, but underneath your enamel, you have tons of nerves. So that's how things can get sensitive. So that's why I use pro enamel. I also use though, sometimes, okay, here we go. I use Crest 3D White, which is kind of hard to see. Because, okay, about a month ago, I thought that my teeth looked a little bit yellow and I was not, and, and I was being more conscious of not having things too acidic in my mouth. So I used this for about two weeks every day and my teeth looked amazing afterwards. So I, lo I love it. Um, sorry guys, something just popped up here. So it's not something that I use all the time, but if I feel my teeth are looking a little bit yellow, then I use this and this stuff is awesome. But then I go back to my pro enamel to make sure that I'm protecting my teeth. So floss, so I like a thin floss, okay? Everybody's different, so please keep that in mind. You need to find a floss that you like. I have tried horrible ones. I have tried thick ones, I have tried super duper thin ones that I didn't like, and they would either get stuck in my teeth, um, the floss would tear, it would hurt. So you need to find one that you like, because if you do not find a floss that you like, you will not floss and then you have problems, because you need to floss every day. So this is the floss that I use, um, but I also like Oral-B um, satin floss as well, because it's nice and thin. My teeth, as you can see, are pretty close together, so I need a thin floss to be able to get in there. Um, and I did do a video earlier today about how to floss, so make sure to look at that too, because that is actually very helpful, because you might think that it's easy to floss, but it's not. If you have never been shown how, then how is it easy? You know, how are you supposed to know? We, we, we all have to learn something for the first time, so do not be ashamed if you don't know how to floss, but watch the video and that will help you. So I brush you guys three times a day, honestly, in the morning, after lunch, and at night. I'm a dental hygienist, so I would know this is what I do, um, and I floss every day. I like to floss when I'm sitting in front of the TV because I'm sitting there anyway. I'm watching a movie or a show or something, and that just helps me. Um, I know some people like to floss in the shower, so just kind of find something that works for you. Floss every day. Um, some people ask me, do you floss before you brush or afterwards? You can, f um, honestly, f um, <clears throat> excuse me, clearly I need some water because I'm losing my, my uh, voice. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So you can floss anytime you want, honestly, as long as it's every day. I've been a dental hygienist for 13 years. I know what I'm talking about as long as you're doing it every day. But the right way, the perfect way, is to floss before you brush. Because if you floss before you brush, you're loosening up the plaque that's in between the teeth, and then you use the toothbrush to clean it all away. But there's no harm in flossing afterwards, in the morning, afternoon, evening, it doesn't matter. We just want you to floss. Because if you're not flossing, then that um, plaque can harden into tartar and that you can't take off and then things become sore, it causes cavities, you don't want any of that. So floss every day. If you're the type of person who's like, oh shoot, um, I've been flossing like once a month, this isn't good, start today. Start today to floss every day and because it's never too late to floss you guys. If you haven't been flossing for a while, keep in mind that your gums will probably bleed a lot but keep flossing because it just means that the gums aren't used to it. But keep flossing and the bleeding will stop. If it doesn't stop within let's say two weeks to a month, because sometimes it takes longer, but let's say two weeks, then book an appointment with your dental hygienist to make sure that the teeth are nice and clean because you might be missing an area or tartar that is causing the gums to bleed. So we can help you, we can help you. This is what we do. So yeah, you guys, so that's my fun products. Um, there you go. If you guys have questions, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.